Aaron, what did you see from Tyone tonight? Um, you know, a few mistakes that they, they obviously got for slug. Um, you know, it looked like he missed with that first fastball um, that uh, Vogelbach got him. Uh, probably just pulled it a little bit down the middle. Um, change up looked like it was up up to Sawinski. You know, just got beat with a little bit of slug tonight. Um, but I thought he was all right. Do you feel like he's healthy at this point in time in the season? Obviously, last year he made it through the majority of the season, but he's a guy that, that another one in the rotation where you probably have to watch his innings at some point. Jamo? No. No, Jamo's, I think Jamo's fine. Yeah. Um, and in fact, that, you know, I feel like he's actually, he's in a good spot to, you know, be the, one of the guys we, we can really lean on. Um, you know, just <clears throat> not that perfect execution that, you know, we've, we've seen a lot from him this year. And, and they, you know, tip your cap, they beat him with some slug tonight. His ERA is over six in the last five starts, two and a half before that. What's been the biggest difference in your mind? It just a couple more mistakes in a game, and tonight they they hit it in the seats or for extra bases. They got them. Um, you know, maybe just not quite as sharp with with some command things that that usually is his calling card. Um, but you know, that's also the ebb and flow of the season too, where you know that you know that's going to happen. How much concern is there with Rizzo? Um. I don't think a ton. Um, you know, it, it might end up being a couple of days, but um, we'll see what we, you know, have coming in tomorrow. Uh, he said it's something that similar to what's popped up on him before, and, and it's usually a day or two. So um, I expect it to be a day-to-day -day situation. So, but we'll see. Was there a play? When, when did it happen? No, it's just kind of all day today. He just couldn't get loose or couldn't, you know, they. You know, he was hoping with you know all the work he was doing before that it would kind of free him up a little bit, and it just you know didn't didn't happen. So pulled the plug on it, you know, hour hour and a half before, um, and you know we'll just keep working, and try and get him some relief. What made Quintana so effective? I think I think he did a good job on the inside part of the play with our righties. You know, he had that presence with his fastball, uh, and then he and then he mixes well. You know, mixes in a breaking ball, but the change up also. But you know, anytime you pitch like that and you're not necessarily overpowering, you know, I, I think a presence on the inside part of the plate is important. I thought he did a good job with that. Not the end result you guys would have liked, but were you encouraged by what you saw from Chapman tonight? Yes. Yes, I mean that. That's more in line with what we've been seeing in his work, and uh, you know, hopefully, that's a big step for him and kind of getting him moving. But I thought it was, I thought it was really good, actually. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, one of the good things to come out of tonight.